Oh. Yeah. Are we in here good? Yeah. This good? Yeah. Okay. She's looking at your coffee. Oh. Are you looking at my coffee? Micah has turned into a coffee fiend, guys. <laughs> Haven't you? Yeah. She gets up in the morning and wants coffee. She oh, no. points in the kitchen all the time. Coffee, coffee, coffee. She drinks coffee at her day program. I'm not sure where she gets it from. Do all those girls buy you coffee up yeah. there? Yeah, they all give her coffee. This is like a new thing. She's off and on, you know, said, I want some coffee, but I always kind of put her off. But now, CNAs bring it to the house. She drinks it at the day program. Then she wants it when it's in the coffee pot. She wants it when I have it. She just always wants it. Comes home from school, I want coffee. <laughs> Sugar and cream? Yeah, sugar and cream, just like mama. So this is my favorite coffee cup. This came from my boy Kendall, and he is coming home today for a wedding on Saturday. It's Thursday. Him and his friend Brad, they graduated from high school together. They've been through four years of Bible college, getting ready to graduate in just a few weeks, and they're home for their second wedding. One was in March, Now they're, they're and they're both in both weddings. So March, April, and then May he graduates, and then he'll be home for just a tiny bit. So this is my, my favorite coffee cup from, from my boy Kendall. And I, it's got a crack all the way down the side, so I haven't actually used it for a while. I don't want it to fall apart because I don't you love that print on there? It's just, I don't know, it's just perfect in every way. It's sort of, um, what do you call that style right there? I forget. I get my styles mixed up. Anyway, it's very pretty. So, I just want to catch you up on all the news. We have more doctor's appointments, I think, than we have ever, ever had. So, you know, last week, Micah went to the doctor, the dentist, the neurologist, and then Bronson went and had his stitches out in his thumb. I might have already told you this story, but he cut his thumb with a brand new knife, got three stitches, and I lost the coolest part of the video. It was where the doctor, she let me video her putting the stitches in. So, I have everything else so I'm going to see if I can put it together for a video. So I put it all together and I sat down one day to edit it and I'm dropping it all in and I start watching the video and I'm like, wait a minute, where are those stitches at? And I cannot find it. It's not recoverable. I've spent hours trying to find this little clip. It's the coolest thing I've ever videoed ever, ever, ever to watch her explain how she does these stitches. So I did get video a video of him um, of him getting his stitches out. He's just got three little stitches. I mean, it's not so exciting, but just kind of interesting. So we've been there today, this morning, in about an hour, me and Bronson go to an allergist. He's gotten pneumonia twice, back in December, and then he got pneumonia again in March. He does have asthma, oh. and the doctor doesn't really know why oh. he's gotten pneumonia two times so close together, and he's been really sick with it, and he's missed a lot of school. We're going to go to the allergist to see if there are things that, that agitate him, which I'm pretty sure there are. William has uh, William has oh, asthma, and he has allergies. He's been getting allergy shots now for about two weeks, two months. William is still really, really tired. He just can't breathe very good. So he's going back to the... I can't get my words out here. He's going back to the allergist in a few weeks. He's still getting his allergy shots on a weekly basis. So, anyway, so we're working on William, and now we're going to work on Bronson, and I'm going to go to the allergist. Just to, I'm pretty sure they're going to find something that I'm allergic to. My throat is always swelled. So we're going to find out what's causing that, but the real reason that we're going is to see if there's anything that causes my migraines. Saturday was a bad head day. Sunday, I made it through okay. Went to church like normal. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I've been down on the couch. I get up, make a video, get it loaded up, schedule it for noon, and then I'm, I'm kind of down for the count. And my head, I woke up this morning with my head really hurting. I haven't had any medicine. Um, I put some peppermint oil on me. I think I'll probably be okay. I'm feeling, I'm feeling all right now. I don't know, these, these headaches just don't seem to make uh, a ton of sense. Sometimes they, they really um, take a lot of energy out of me, and then I just, I can't seem to go. Because the week before, I was telling you on Saturday how proud I was that I was 
just taking medicine for a really big headache and I was just continuing on like nothing was happening to my body. Well, four good weeks have caught up with me, I guess, and now my body's saying, all right, you're gonna have to lay down and you're gonna have to rest your body. You're down for the count. So we'll see how I feel after the allergist today. So we have that going on. And then tomorrow, me and William have these tests. There's five tests, I don't remember what they are, but it's old people tests. So you get these tests done and you can't get them done in your doctor's office unless you have symptoms of them. So they're checking your heart, checking your cholesterol, which you can get that done anytime. And I don't remember what all the rest of it is. So I'll make a video and let you know about the allergists and I'll let you know about me and William tomorrow. And we'll have results by the time we get done so I can make like an instant video and with instant results and tell you what tests they did and, and how, we, um, how we're doing at our old age. Are me and dad getting old? Are we getting old? You don't know. You don't want us to get old. You're not talking to me? Yeah, yeah you're talking to me? Yeah. Are you listening? Yeah. yeah. You have your mind on seeing Bridget, don't you? Getting on the van. It's about time for the van to be here. It's about 8, 18, it looks like right now. They'll be here in just a second. Just hang on. Just hang your horses on. We're going to get you there. Oh, stretchy, stretchy, stretchy. So anyway, I just came on to say hello and to tell you about all of these doctor's appointments. We've just never had so many. Kendall would not let me get him on video last time. I did a little bit of the wedding that we went to, and I begrudgingly got him on there long enough to say hello, but he was not happy. So I'll see if I can get him on so you guys can see him. How's that sound? You want? You know what? Maybe Kendall will be on a video with you. You want Kendall on a video with you? Yeah. yeah, maybe we can talk him into that and tell him that his, his big sister wants to be on a video with him. Think we can talk him into it? Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for being here. Hope you guys have a great day. And talk to us in the comments and tell us how you're doing. I love hearing from you. And Phoebe, this hairdo is just for you. Sure. And, oh, oh, I wanted to tell you about this, this sweater. I got this sweater for $3. It's just a, a cardigan sweater. So I, I have to, um, they're going to poke my back for... When I go to the allergist, they poke all these different spots and make these circles and write these words to see what, to write down what they're putting into you to see what you're allergic to. And I'm trying to capsule my wardrobe and shrink it down, but I don't have some of the right pieces. So I got this piece to add on and I got it for $3 and it's like the nicest cardigan that I've ever had. It's thicker. I don't even know what brand it is. But anyway, I'm pretty proud of it and I've worn it a lot so it was the right choice in my closet. My closet's still too big. I'm still working on the capsule. Winter's almost over. And then I'll be going through all the winter things and deciding, you know, if those are the best choices or if I can eliminate some of those things. So anyway, that's just trivia at the end of the video. So you guys have a great day. Say bye-bye. Yeah. I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help, for my help cometh from Lord. the Lord. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. And we have Miss Deb with us today. Oh. She's here this morning and this afternoon. Yep. I'm training this afternoon, by the way. Oh, you are? Oh. Who are you training? Her name is Jody. I'll meet her here in an hour. Oh, okay, cool. So. All right, somebody new's coming. Yep. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye, Bye -bye. everybody. Mm -hmm.